I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Rachel and I go to Edgehill University. So today I'm going to be doing like a Christmassy night in my life. Not a night routine because this is not done every night. I'm going to be making cinnamon rolls, not from scratch, I'm not that talented. I'm doing a Christmassy face mask, just things like that. Making my nightly iced coffee in my new candy cane glasses, which if you watched my um, clean with me slash decorate video, you'll have seen them before. But yeah and then i'm gonna like settle down and watch a bit of the crown because i like to do that at the moment <laughs> but yeah just stuff like that so let's get on with it <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna do that face mask thing now. So, it's this little reindeer situation for brighter looking skin. Let's hope this works. I've got my headband to put in. <sighs> so, I've already washed my face, so we're ready to go. Hmm. Let's see about this then. <laughs> right, let's go. This is interesting. Guys! Oh, yeah. She's not as long! Huh? She's not as long! I kind of vibe with this, it's so Christmassy. I mean, I kind of scare myself, but it's fine. We roll. Hey Siri, set a timer for 12 minutes. Nothing! This is the. Result. Don't worry about it. Go. You can't really see anything different. It feels quite moisturised. <laughs> yes, I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Okay, so I thought for this last like little bit of the video, um, I do a little bit of like. I do a little bit of like a Q&A, just a few questions that I saw, so yeah, I actually forgot to write them down, I can't remember what they were. Okay, so I found them, so I've just literally done the first two that I could see, 
and I actually think they're from the same person but I'm not sure like I just looked at the first two <laughs> but um yeah because it's not like a full-on QA so I just thought I'd do like one or two questions the first one was how did I end up choosing Edge Hill so basically I was <laughs> right I was looking at performing arts unis for ages and I was so set on going to one of them and then all of a sudden my dad was like wait have you ever thought about Edge Hill and then he worked around here so he was like oh, okay well we can go to the open day and i'll show you like around a bit and yeah so he did and at the time i was like mm, i just don't feel like it's like i'd fit in here when i first came here i was like no it's it's not gonna happen because i knew the grades that i'd have to get so i was like yeah maybe don't get your hopes up and i think that's why it didn't feel right but then i was like you know what no if i put my mind to it i think i could do that so i went to my mum and my dad and i was like right i know it's a long shot but this is where i want to go so i'm gonna try and work really really hard and then just as i started working really really hard we got told that a levels weren't happening and then i panicked a lot not gonna lie but then they gave out unconditionals and i was like right okay this is all falling into place because I was going to put this as my first anyway, but it was a long shot that I'd get in because of all the grades. Yeah, it kind of worked out like a lot because I'm close to home. I wanted to go here anyway. And also, a cherry on top, I got an unconditional because of COVID because they gave out a lot of unconditionals. Um, I'm not saying, by the way, that I didn't like it to begin with. That's not what I mean. I mean, I didn't feel like it was a possibility to come here. So... I didn't really think about it again but yeah so that was a really long-winded way of saying it but the reason i only chose one or two of these questions was because i knew how long-winded that was going to be and then the second one was um which accommodation do you recommend all the accommodation here is so so nice everyone i know is really happy with their accommodation but the ones that i liked the best were chancellor court chancellor south and palatine court palatine there we go yeah, so Chancellor's Court, Chancellor South and Palatine Court. I think the order I put them in was Palatine, Chancellor's Court, Chancellor South, and then Founders East and Founders West, I think they're called, but I don't know which way I put them. But I don't know. I, hmm, if I, right, I thought I wanted the all white rooms when I came here. I'm actually not that bothered looking at it now. <laughs> Now I'd never ever seen any of the accommodation apart from the pictures and the pictures online show Chancellor's Court and Chancellor South to be the same. So I, I just put them in any order and Chancellor's Court happened to be first, like of the two. And I didn't get Palatine because that was like so wanted. So I got Chancellor's Court and that's pretty much the way it would for everyone in my flat. But when we all walk past Chancellor's South now, we see that they've all got the all white rooms and a really nice kitchen so it looks from the outside the same as palatine but obviously not living there i don't know so like i'd say if you want an all white room go for palatine or chancellor south if you're not bothered then i'd say one of those three or if you're like really into aesthetics then i'd say one of those three or um new main halls but if i'm right i don't think you can specify between new main halls and old main halls so if you're really really into the aesthetics i wouldn't risk it but some people did and some people got, that i know got new main halls and their bathrooms are gorgeous so some positives about those four because those for me would have been my top four founders east and founders west i've got to say i've never really looked at them so i don't know i can't give an opinion on that but everyone i know who lives in them really like it same with old main hall same with back hall same with forest court like or anywhere else there is on campus everyone i know who lives on campus loves it so i don't know i can basically only comment on four just because of people i know and what i've seen so I'm going to comment on Chancellor's Court, Chancellor's South, Palatine and Main Hall's new. So because those would have been my top four. Positives, Palatine and Chancellor's Court all white so it's really aesthetic. Chancellor's Court quite big rooms and it's also mainly like white and oak. Yeah, new Main Halls 
so 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 aesthetic and it's also got the most amazing bathroom ever <laughs> negatives main halls new main halls rooms are a bit smaller um, chances court you either get a red or a blue cupboard what else chances south i don't actually think i can give like an opinion on chances south for like negatives um palatine i personally wouldn't really like where it is on campus so that would be a negative for me but some people seem to really like it so i don't know so anyway those were two of the questions i saw just straight off because they were the last ones to be like posted um and plus i knew they were going to be quite long-winded ones I've got hair on me so yeah that's like a mini q a <laughs> but i just wanted to add something to the video i actually think i'm gonna end this video here because i think i'm just gonna get into bed now facetime tay for a little bit and then go to bed but yeah thank you for hanging out with me tonight um i actually really enjoyed making this video just a nice little christmasy night so yeah i've loved it thank you for watching guys please remember to like and subscribe and anything turn on the notification bell i've always forgotten to say that and please follow my instagram um i'd really appreciate it so yeah thank you bye